Hey, what's up guys? This is the Elk Enigma, and we are back in some Halo the Master Chief Collection. We are actually back in Halo 2. I kind of lied on the previous video. We're going to be doing the Achievement Guide, The Return of Meg. And what you're going to want for this is you're going to want the... I flashed it there real quick. Uh, you're going to want the Scarab Skull, the Envy Skull, and you need to have the Thunderstorm Skull on. The Thunderstorm Skull increases the ranks of most enemies. It affects like elites and grunts, and they'll usually be the white variant. And, um... The Scarab Skull makes all of your handheld weapons fire Scarab rounds. You'll see right there, super big explosions and junk. And the Envy Skull makes it to where your flashlight is replaced with the Elite's active camouflage, which doesn't last very long. It lasts about 5-10 seconds, maybe. But it's obviously very effective because they can't see you. And something in my little uh, description there is... I apparently left in a death right there. But something in my little description that I left out is you have to be on Legendary Difficulty. And you cannot receive any shield damage while you're running through this. So, luckily though, it is, um, I guess you could say, compatible with checkpoints. Yeah, compatible is the word. Um, so basically, if you were to take shield damage, if you just revert to your last checkpoint, it will maintain your progress. You don't have to restart every time you get shot. That would be very frustrating. Uh, but actually, all you, all you want to do, I mean, just... The basic premise of this is go invisible before you go across any corners. I don't really do that very much in this video, but it's, I mean, that's pretty much all you got to do. Um, honestly, there isn't very much to talk about in this, but I'm going to make it happen. I mean, we're almost two minutes in. Let's, let's do it. That's a six minute video. No problems there. So yeah, we're actually, I think we're actually about halfway through the mission almost. That might be a lie. I think I might have just lied to you guys. I totally lied to you guys. Alright, so this one, really, if you just, like, camp the spawn, which is that little beam thing, like, do what I'm doing, so easy. I think that there's a spawn of elites that are a little delayed. Yeah, they're there. But you just pop them, same way you popped everything else. And now you're done with this part. And now you just want to go ahead and, uh, you don't have to jump on the pelican, I did, because I wanted to. And just uh, camp this doorway, because that is where they will appear next, after one of the other space stations gets blowed up. There's going to be a sweet grenade explosion there, so make sure you don't get hit by that. And now they're all dead. Now you just move in. I don't even remember. Oh, this part is actually very difficult. Because I also have the Sputnik skull on, which decreases the mass of objects. Which can be useful. It's definitely useful for grenade jumps if you're getting collectibles and shit. But basically, with the Scarab gun, it throws around all the blocks and shit. I'll call them blocks. I don't know what the crates, whatever they're called. <laughs> and um, basically, they can fly towards you and smack you in the face and kill you, which is great. So I actually died a few times. And I, I love how that dude was just crouching. Like, he had no idea where he was. But yeah, I did die a few times from shooting the crates and blowing myself up or shooting the crates and getting hit by them shortly after. So you you want to make sure that you're not really uh, spraying praying. That's why you, the BR and the um, the SMG that you start with are by far like the best pick for this. This room can be difficult because there are, on the other half of it, there are two elites that spawn on either doorway. So after you kill the one at your doorway, the next one can be difficult to kill without also killing yourself. But I, luckily I get it first tried. I really thought I died a lot there, but I never died. How about that? And here's another just big open room that is also quite difficult. And there should be a cut somewhere. Maybe it already happened. Maybe I wasn't even paying attention. Wow. I'm, I'm so good at editing, I can't even see my own edits. It's crazy. But yeah, and be really um, careful with your <laughs> shields. Because there was actually one run that I did where I almost did another checkpoint. Like, I kept running forward after I had taken shield damage. I don't know if I didn't notice it, or if I just felt like getting a couple more kills before I reset the checkpoint, but I got really close to... Like, it was actually right here, that wave that comes in. They almost killed me, but didn't. And, like, I almost ran into this room that would have, you know, fucked me up or would have had to restart. So just make sure that you're actively paying attention to your shields at all times, if nothing else, for the sound cues. The outside is kind of difficult, it's they do they can come from any direction but there's only four of them i want to say and two of them spawn as soon as that uh i don't know uh, chapter name pops up i don't know what you call that thing 
it's like a special checkpoint and then you head on in this room this room is f kind of hard only because you have a really large drone swarm but you see what i did right there i ran out and activated the drones coming up and then i ran back in the doorway that i came in and now they're all dead and then you just aim down there shoot all the uh covenant that go through that little doorway and go and just hit this and that's it that's the end of it or the end of that it's not the end of the, the video the video's still going yeah you want to go out here okay that's a sweet little cut there <laughs> missed a little bit you want to make sure you shoot that guy in the turret that you may or may not have seen for about two seconds and then there are two guys flying around with him and then when you walk down there will be two more guys that spawn uh in later and this actually is where the easter egg pops up at the end of the elevator right it says Meg, please come to the red Med, Meg, please come to the red loading terminal. I don't know what the fuck he says. It's really low, so it's kind of a bad Easter egg in my opinion. But, ah, uh, there's your achievement, whatever. You don't actually have to clear the last room. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, why don't you please like, comment, subscribe. Check out all videos prior to and after this one. And this is the Elk Enigma, signing off.